Hey boys and girls, welcome to the second edition of Tattoo Review, the series in which we take a look at the interesting tattoos people have decided to permanently brand on their bodies. Now, today's edition features a very popular fellow named Raymond, or more commonly known as Mr. Avatar. This is him. <coughs> so, I've edited this video completely and his body still shocks me. No offense to the man, because, you know, I'm trying to be less hurtful. Uh, in the last edition, in which we looked at Mr. Cool Ice, I was quite cruel, and he actually reached out, threatened me, he threatened to sue, he threatened to bash my skull in, you know, all that. So, I'm going to separate this video into three stages of how Ray's body has developed over time. The first being, the first tattoos, maybe this is too many tattoos, and body ruined. What is also important to note is that this has all happened in the span of just over a decade, all after 2009 when James Cameron released quite an average movie that a minority of particular mongos enjoy quite a bit too much. $30,000 Canadian have been spent on body ink. Nah, I'm no ink man. And yes, that is the official term. But I'd say that is way too fucking much money, man. That's also not including his truck, which I'll show you right now. <laughs> what a rig three stages. The first tattoo is just some simple back tattoos and an arm tattoo of a, of a Navi or whatever. Uh, maybe there's too many tattoos. This is the next stage. Jesus Christ, he's got his truck there and he's sitting at a Hollywood star. Uh, now, that's just body ruined. His body is completely ruined at this point. He's blue. He's completely blue. Why is his dick- And why does his wife have an avatar tattoo as well? Obviously, he was the one to convince her. I also don't want to confuse you guys. I'm not talking about Mr. Avatar. My favorite Middle Eastern Fortnite hacker, here's a clip. Surprise interview, surprise interview. We have a surprise interview for you guys, here we go. All right, without further ado, please welcome my first guest, Daniel, a man who's known Ray for many years. Daniel, welcome to the studio, sir. Hey mate, I'm, uh, I'm actually Staniel. So, I think you said Daniel in there. So Daniel it's Staniel Pheasant. It's Daniel Pheasant. I didn't know your last name till now. Normal Pheasant. name. Normal no, name. normal name for a bird, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, well, not really. Okay, sure. Uh, so, how'd you meet Raymond? Uh, it was actually like, it was actually like three or so years ago. So, like, he had a lot of the avatar tattoos already. Yeah. Um, and I was, uh, I was doing an Instagram story. Okay. And my Instagram is that's Daniel Eats, that's, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, So sure. just check that out in your free time if you're listening. What's happening uh, to your voice, Daniel? <laughs> Please don't yell in the studio. It's actually quite annoying. All right, you're singing now. All right, please just tell me the story about how you met Ray. Motherfucker, I am Stan, your cunt. I'm gonna kill a motherfucker. Okay, so so any funny stories about Stan? About sorry, about Mr. Avatar? Yeah, I actually have one on my Instagram. It's at Stan Eats. Okay. You can check me out on Instagram. You know, like just put my Instagram handle into the thing. Yeah. You know. Um. So yeah, there's one story in there. Um. About how like I was eating waffles one morning. So. Yeah. But like yeah. nothing to do with Raymond. Yeah. Okay, so so do you actually know Raymond? Not at all, mate. Not no, at all. So why the hell have we been emailing back and forth for two weeks now trying to organise this interview? Oh, I was looking for a platform to shout out my SoundCloud. You can check me out. No, 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 no mate. Five. Stop, stop talking, mate. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. so I got the shout out, I think. Oh, you got the fucking shout out. Who, who is yeah, this yeah. guy? He just you know, stumbled in. Why is he dressed like a vagrant? He's fucking idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's the interview. The that concludes the interview. Check out my shout clip! So that wraps up this episode of Tattoo Review. Thank you all for bearing with my rude guests. I'm so sorry. It seems pretty insane that I have to apologize for them. We had to call security. They're on crack cocaine. They had weapons. You know, we had to get boot them off the premises pretty much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Comment below. Should I get a tattoo? Should my nan get a tattoo on her forehead? Tune in next time where we take a look at a fucking French idiot.